China has become Africa's biggest economic partner, replacing the U.S., European countries, and particularly Russia, whose influence on the continent waned after the end of the Cold War. However, now Russia intends to reclaim some of the influence it had in Africa in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Today, at the first Russia-Africa summit in the city of Sochi, Vladimir Putin promised to double his country's trade with the continent in five years. Whereas uh, our military export is just around 15. And the prospects are very good. And this gives us hopes that we will further increase our trade. And I believe it is within our capacity to at least double our trade within the next four to five years. And we see additional opportunities presented to us by the integration processes ongoing in Africa. President Museveni is one of the over 35 heads of state attending the summit. So of what importance is the conference to Kampala? Uganda's bilateral trade with Russia doubled to 74 million US dollars by the end of last year from just 30 million US dollars in 2009. At the Sochi summit, Museveni and Putin are expected to sign new cooperation agreements. Certainly are going to support these plans at the government level, Gazprom, Rosneft, Lukoil, uh, fulfilling promising oil and gas projects in Africa. Rosa is exploring diamond deposits, Yandexes, present in a number of African markets. It helps African countries address issues related to information security and the development of digital economy. Ross Adam is Uganda has had diplomatic relations with Russia since independence and it maintains strong ties mainly in ICT, mining and defense. Uganda also forms part of Russia's arms market in Africa. Putin's promise to double trade with Africa could see the bilateral trade between Moscow and Kampala shoot up to about 150 million US dollars in the next five years. Edward Mhumza, NTV. Uh, Mr. President.